Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET 4 and today I am going to show you how to uh, dynamically create a checkbox list based on the drop down list selection or you can say select list selection. Here we have an example and just select any grade from the drop down list like the first class. You know that the first class have some courses like uh, uh, maths and any other. And when, when I select that uh, any course and just create it, that value will be saved into the database table like that. And you can see that here we have a VM and under the VM, here we have the selected course is like that, that is the one. Okay. So just I want to save that value that is dynamically created uh, drop down list or dynamically created checkbox list. How to do in ASP.NET 4 okay so first of all stop the debugging and go for the logics the, the first logic you can say uh, first of all create a drop down list or you can say select list based on the grade so here we have a grade service dot get on id and the name by using the new select list so teacher assign and you can see in the view section uh, here we have a teacher options teacher assign like that so here we have a uh, select list like that grade id and esp items that is the view back dot grades and the id of the select list is grade id so how to create or how to add dynamically uh, checkbox list so on the grade id changes function in the jquery you have to first of all get the grade id value on the grade and then you can use call ajax in the ajax we have type data url like that so the type is get and the url is just i want to get all the courses all the subjects so teacher options operations that is the uh, that is the area name and that is the controller name and that is action name and just in that action just i want to pass the grade id by using the data grade grade so just open again here you can say get subject by using the or you can say get uh, courses by using the grade id like that okay so you can see that here we have a get subject and with the grade id so by using the service course service dot get course by id grade so here we have all subjects and all subjects just i want to convert it into the select list so assign subject view model here we have a select list there is the courses list of select list item courses so here we have courses and just all that are courses dot uh, subjects that is the all subject by you uh, get by using the grid id subject dot select new select just i want to put that all subject in the form of select list item so text is x dot name i mean to say that x dot subject subject dot name subject dot id i mean to say inside in value and pass to the to list so courses have a select list item type and pass to the vm dot courses on the response on the ajax response we have some courses okay so you can see in the teacher assign in the success response we have some courses in the courses we have some text we have some value disabled selected etc these are the value so I am going to add a for loop courses dot length and create a checkbox like that. Input attribute type checkbox ID is looking like that, or you can say create any ID on the basis of your values. Just I want to create this like type of things name, course value, and selected that is the selected or not by using this. Okay now after that we are using label like label create a new label looking like that checkbox so label dot attribute 
and in the attribute we have four forces just example to have forces and like that and the label text value is looking like that subject id just here we have a subject id like that it's a empty division just i want to put it uh, or you can say append checkbox in the form of uh, control dot append label also dot append pr so the checkbox list is visible now any checkbox is changes like checked or unchecked then again just i want to when we click on the submit button then first of all get the checkbox state by using selected checkbox so input dot type checkbox dot check and all checkbox are returned by using the for each loop okay so dot map function return this dot value and get so checkbox values are get and after that you have to pass that checkbox list in the form of data by using the ajax selected courses selected courses is the type of list or array in the assign subject view model and here you have to string type of array selected courses so each and every checkbox are selected so here we have selected courses or you can say selected checkbox are going to selected checkboxes and success response if you have to get by using the selected checkboxes you can say in the vm so you get all the selected checkboxes right here if you want to uh, just get the grade id value okay so if you want to get the grade id then you have to pass the object or you just have to pass the value so uh, here you can say uh, where grade id selected grade id equals to a dollar sign here we have Okay, so here we have a grade ID dot well. So selected grade ID is on there, and just you can mm, put all the values in the form of object. So create a where type of object and just put it here, or you can say selected. course inside it you can say selected checkboxes comma and selected grade id or you can say that grade id inside it you can take it uh, that is grade id i think to definition and here we have grade id so here we have a grade id and in which you can just pass a value of selected grade id okay so now just i want to pass that object right here in the selected courses just i want to pass in the vm So here we have an object. Now save this and you will check it. And in the object you, you not notice that selected course and the grid ID. And also VM is inside it here like that. So here we have a VM. So just catch all these VM under the section. All teachers just assign subject, select grade, select mathematics, 
and just click on the create button and the VM you will notice that here we have a selected course that is the view 2 and the ID is the uh, sorry grade ID is 1 okay so everything is fine now you can do it by yourself and uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core, jQuery and Ajax. Thank you.